Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Roshana. If you're a new subscriber, please subscribe to my YouTube channel when I upload every other week. So today, I'm going to be doing a Q&A today. All right. So basically, I'm just going to pick um, just random questions. I'm going to read them to you and uh, get right into the vlog. Let's get started. The first one is, um, what makes something that makes you unique and completely different from someone, anyone else? Um, me unique, I, I like to sing, I like to dance, I like to draw, I like cartoon artists, I like painting, um, I like doing words, crosswords, I like singing, dancing, acting, like stuff like that that I like to do. Um, that's unique, yeah. Um, what is the best compliment that you ever received? Oh my gosh. The best compliment is that I'm amazing, a good friend good job you will always do good on your goals um, they will appreciate me for me and don't give up because something will come to you and I always say like good things about myself because especially when you're with people that see you and they know like where you're coming from and people always say like I'll always believe in you don't give up you know like I have friends like that that always give me good feedback for myself and like knowing knowing that you should never give up on yourself because no matter what you do for yourself you're doing it for your purpose not for anybody else's purpose right mm -hmm. okay the next one is um uh, What is something that everyone else does does wait, what is something that everyone else does does that you wish you didn't? Um I think people look at me like say even though they don't say it people might think maybe I'm a mean person or I'm not nice, I don't show respect to other people, which is not true, right? And you have some people look at me like, yeah, you have to be nice every day. Because I, I always have people say I'm nice, I'm quiet, I show a little respect. Maybe not everybody don't think that way about me. But I think people look at me like I'm too mean. They don't think I'm a bully because, you know, you get bullied your own way and people will still judge you. So I think people look at me as like a mean person. I don't think they think it, but... In their mind, they might think it, but who cares, right? <laughs> um, how does your pitch? How do you picture your ideal future? Um, I would say, of course, be in a happy environment, do a lot of things for my own. Um, of course, I've been trying to like go out more often, meeting new people. You know, just being myself in general and, like, you know, just, just go out different places more and come out of my comfort zone. Yeah, I think that I should do. Um, the next one, how, how would you describe some, wait, how would someone else describe me, describe you? Nice, kind, sweet, respectful. I make a little joke here and there, depending on my mood. Um, amazing, you know. So much words people describe me. Good friend, good sister, you know. Whatever people like to call me when they when they know, you know. <laughs> um, if you could, if you can change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Um. I would say, like, try to believe in myself more. Does that make sense? 
Like, I do believe in myself. But if you're with people who don't believe in you, like, you don't believe in your career, your life, like, always believe in yourself more. Because even though people will make you feel good, not everybody else is going to make you feel good. Unless you do something that makes yourself feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go around and be like, oh, like I'll never get this. Or I'll never get that. Like, for me, I would love to make sure I... Like, you know, a lot of people like to, of course, people will say, my goal is to get a job, my goal is to get my license, my goal is to do this, my goal is to do that. Like, I always have to make sure I believe in myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, What makes you the happiest? Um, Wow, this one, of course, to be alive. Um, Getting to know my surroundings, believe in God, of course, because he gave us life. Um, you know, just be in a good adventure where you can just do so much things where you didn't even think you would do on this earth, you know? So be thankful that you're alive, you're on this earth, and just be grateful for what you have. Yeah. Um, what is the best advice you ever received? That something good will come in my future. Like, I always feel like something good should come in my future and um you would do it you would you would do well i will believe in you you know there's a lot of things that i always think it will come to me it might not come to me but it will come to me you know it's just like i'm on youtube here and i'm trying my best to get those get these viewers to watch met these viewers to do better like not like not viewers, I should say. Well, my videos and my audience are trying to see how well I'm doing on this platform. So a lot of good things that I'm trying to achieve, you know. Um, what is your top three positive traits? Never give up, believe in yourself, and um, always do good things for yourself because you never know what will happen if you don't do good things for yourself because there's many times in my life i always felt like i couldn't do good things for myself because i feel like um when you when you don't do good things for yourself you end up feeling like you know what what did i do what do i do to deserve this you know what i mean yes uh, hmm Um, what is one of the best memories you have? The best memories, I would say, hmm, I think going on field trips when I used to have been in, like, high school. I think those are, like, the most memories, like, going on, like, the aquarium and uh, going to a basketball game, going to many evil times. Like, those are, like, my fun memories going on field trips i don't know if you guys know those trips then you would know i used to go to those trips okay um why do you think you become the person that you are today i think why i think i become the person i am today because i wasn't a perfect person back then you know, I've been going, I've been struggling so much back then. Um, I wasn't fitting in. I was bullied a lot. I've been through a lot in my life. And, you know, since I've been going to like meeting new people, like I'm not going to say my life was in that perfect state. But I know like, you know, I was this type of person where, you know, you're in a dark tunnel. You know, people push you in the dark instead of the light. You know what I'm saying? Like, people didn't know who you were. So if I wasn't here today doing this, I wouldn't know what my life would be then. So, you know, sometimes when you look at your life, you're like, what would I do 5 or 10 years from now or, or 15 years from now? Like, you know what I mean? You never know what your life would be, right? Um... What is something you do just to be different? 
to just be confident in myself, speaking for myself. Most of the time, I'm doing that. And try not to be afraid of people. Like, that's just the most important thing. It's to not be afraid of people. And don't let people look at you like you can't do things. That is, like, the most important thing in life. Because you will feel like, say, oh, I know what I'm doing. And then another person will tell you, you don't know what you all do. <laughs> so that's the things I am learning for myself, okay? Um, um, what is something you're good at? Other people. Wait, what is something you're so good at that other people think you're lying? Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I am a very honest person. Like, if I know something is wrong, I tell the truth. I don't just go and be like, okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just say it out loud and say, oh, I saw this. I saw that. Like, and people would look at you like you're a lie. You know, but I'm very honest. Like, if I would tell the truth from my mind and tell you, oh, this happened, and I just put it out there. Yeah, anyways. Um, what is one of the most amazing things you've seen? Hmm. Um, goodness. One of the most amazing. Um, like, hmm, one of the amazing things I see, um, like firecrackers, you know, those are like the most amazing things I see. I did like a little short clip of a firecracker. It wasn't clear, clear, but I got a little clip of it. Yeah, that's all I could think of. Um, let's see. Um, what is something you want to remember for? Okay, I have to do it again. What is something that you would want to be remembered? Um, oh my gosh. Like, let's say, like, when I get older, and let's say if I'm not on YouTube no more, this, for example, if there's ever a time, like, I'll still be on YouTube, but if there's ever a time if I'm not on YouTube no more, you guys can kind of go back and remember that I used to do all these videos and how I struggle and, you know, all these things that I couldn't do. So maybe that is something that you guys can remember me by and know that, you know, I was somebody that was always in that positive era. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't somebody that was mean. I wasn't somebody that wanted to put negative thoughts, but just to let you know who I was as a person, you know? Um, what is something that would surprise people about you? Um, that people didn't know I was this nice, sweet person. And most of you guys always say, um, you like me as a, as a, in, as a YouTuber. Um, and so one of, I think one of the subscribers was, was saying that I have a nice, soft voice and, um, I'm always giving them like good advice which is really amazing. Like, all of you guys are amazing anyway in your own way. So I do appreciate you guys so much. And thank you so much for that subscriber that liked my video on Sunday. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, one thing I would say, the next one. How would, how would someone you love describe you? Nice. Kind. Sweet. Amazing. Kind. I have a kind heart. I have a kind heart in myself. When it comes to, towards people, I have a very kind heart. I don't know why, but I do. Um, what? Okay, what? What's one of the most important lessons you have learned from the past? Um, always let always let go. No matter what a person put you through, always let go, because the past. Is gone we're in the present and we're starting a new fresh year in our lives so no matter what a person would tell you let go because you can't go back to that and people will like will tell you things that you don't want to hear 
So I always say let go. I don't need the past. I don't need to see it. I don't need to remember it. I don't listen to the past. Because it's like I've been through so much already. So why would I want to go back? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Um, um, let's see. When you were, when and when you were the happiest. Um, when something good happens, I would say since I've been on YouTube, you guys are giving me nice comments and, you know, just motivating myself, make me happy all the time and praying and just being thankful for life and, you know, the people around me and, you know, everything like that. You know, you're going to have some days where you need to be happy. You don't need to be sad. You don't need to. You don't need to be sad all the time. You know, this is only one life we have. So appreciate yourself. Just do something. And if a person that I don't know, don't believe in you, just 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 forget about them. Like, you know, just do things that make you happy. Um what else? What is something you want to do in your lifetime? Um, like I said, just keep on trying. Um, don't make so much mistakes. Um, uh, just have a goal, um, and don't give up on it. Because if you keep on doing that goal, you will see what will change up. Right? Um. Hmm. Um. Let me see. One of the what's one of the best memory you have the best memories i would say um i would say like i don't know every christmas year i like to like say dress up in my red costume in the decoration i think that would be a best memory in 2023 was like that when i did a video showing you guys how I decorate my uh, Christmas tree. Not this one, but the one upstairs. I think that's like the best memory and putting on music and having fun, you know? And saying Merry Christmas to family and friends, you know, just have that nice vibe, you know? Um, the next one is who has who has had the biggest influencer on you in your life? Hmm, oh my gosh, I would say, I wouldn't say biggest influence, I don't know, but maybe say friends or family then, because like, I never say I had anybody I look up to, and I'm like, this is my influencer, or that is my influencer, because even though you guys look at me as your influencer, I don't really have nobody that I could look up to, you know what I mean, like if I say friends or family, but I don't really have like an influencer that I look up to. Um, what's one of the most amazing things you have? Oh, I think I read that already. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, guys. I think that's the last question. So that's basically it. It was the same questions. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you get something out of this video, comment down below what you guys think, what you like. Um, the stuff that I said were they true, were they not, whatever. I don't know, but this is just. Um, I'm telling you things about yourself and, um, you know, just be, just, just believe in yourself and, you know, just do things that's right, you know, cause you know me already, I, I'm, I'm a type of person where I express myself, maybe not too much cause I don't fully have to explain certain stuff, but I try my best to express it and make you guys understand me, um, the best I can. Okay. But well, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, I'll see you guys on my next one. Have a good day, and enjoy the rest.